Today, ladies and gentlemen, to the mining news on Commodity TV. BHP, the world's largest mining company, forecasts that global demand for copper will increase by over 70% to over 50 million tons by 2050 per year. Important topics in global demand are wind energy, charging infrastructure, energy distribution, overland, e-mobility and solar. The red metal is needed across all industrial sectors and no major deposits have been found in the last 12 years, let alone large mines developed for early production. This also applies to silver, uranium and soon nickel. We need exploration. Good thing there are companies like Greenbridge Metals who have now submitted a mineral resource update from an independent expert in a technical report on their South Contact Zone property. The data review was completed by a qualified person through a site visit and sampling, review of historical samples and certificates, a review of the resource block model and an update of the mineral resource estimate for titanium at the Titec South project. The result was 45.1 million tons of ore with 15% titanium oxide. They also reviewed historical drilling, sampling and results returned for copper, nickel and platinum group elements on each of the four parts of the property Wyman Siphon, Skibo, Titec and Boulder. This is all great progress for the company and we look forward to the next news. Orania Resources, through its wholly owned subsidiary Corsica Resources SA, has signed a non-binding letters of intent with the municipalities of Ogliastro and Nonza in Cap Corse, France, for the mining of heavy minerals and places that are highly enriched in nickel and other metals. Analysis by Activation Labs of Ancaster in Ontario of a heavy mineral concentrate produced by simple hand panning of the beach sand for gold assayed 50.4% nickel, 0.7% cobalt, 0.476% copper. A Mosley Gravity Bench concentrate of magnetic beach sand produced by SGS Labs in Lakeville, Ontario yielded 40.1% nickel. These nickel grades greatly exceed the grades from known hard rock deposits. Orenia's management quickly recognized the significance of this dis discovery and over the past year has been working with the Department of Mineral Resources of the Ministry of Economy and Finance, the Interministerial Delegation for the Provision of Critical Minerals and Strategic Min Metals and various levels of government in Corsica. This could be a tremendous step forward for the company and we can envision production commencing in the 18 months in about uh, in the next 18 months at a very manageable cost, which we estimate to be less than 30 million US dollars. The stock is a buy with a target of 1 Canadian dollar 50. Collective Mining announced positive results from recent cyanidation tests. These were conducted on representative samples from near surface and deeper areas of the Apollo system at the Guayabales project in Caldas in Colombia. Test results returned an average gold recovery of 94.3% from seven new variable samples, confirming and supporting previously reported gold recoveries. In addition, optimization testing using a flotation concentrate yielded significant improvements in gold and silver recoveries over the results reported on 11th April 2024. The company has five diamond core drill rigs operating as part of its fully funded 40,000 meter drill program for 2024 with two rigs operating at Apollo, two rigs operating at the trap system and one rig operating at the Plutus target. Ari Sussman, executive chairman, commented, the extensive metallurgical test work conducted at Apollo confirms that it is easy to achieve high recoveries of valuable metals from the system using conventional technologies. This is a huge advantage for future production ramp up as it should reduce capital costs. You can also find all the information on our commodity TV app in German and English as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like. And more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer. The shares discussed are or will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I am or will become a shareholder. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.